All right, so ever since we got back from Moab, my number one priority has been to get this video done for you guys because I know how many questions I've gotten on how do you run 40s on it? What kind of lift do you have on that? What kind of tires are those? Are those speed locks? So let's get into that right now. All right, so let's start with the front here. And we got the LED headlights by um, KC, I'm really happy with these headlights because they just give the Jeep a really nice classic look, which is what I'm all about. Also, we have these Pro 6 uh, Gravity LED uh, fog lights are really, really bright. I really love these headlights. I'm sorry, these uh, auxiliary lights on the trail on dark nights. They're really nice and then uh, they just really look good with the uh, uh, headlights. So I'm a pretty big fan of them. Also, we got the VKC Shorty V2 front bumper. Um, this is a, a frame cut type of bumper. As you can see, it really tucks in right up against the uh, front grill. So I like that. And uh, we are running a Warrant VR10S. This is the uh, synthetic rope um, winch, and I'm pretty happy with it. I've only used it a handful of times, mostly to pull other people out, but. I'm pretty happy with it myself. Also, we got the Factor 55 uh, flat length here. Um, love that shackle. All you gotta do is hook up the uh, um, the D ring on that, and um, it just looks really nice. The red kind of goes with the accents of the Jeep, so I'm pretty happy with it. All right, uh, let's talk about these fenders because I get a lot of questions, and we're we're gonna we're gonna get uh, we're gonna talk about these uh, axes and what I've done to that. But let's talk about this these fenders here so the fenders um, these are the uh, crawler fenders by nemesis industries i love these fenders they look really nice on the jeep and they are coupled with the uh, nemesis industries inner fenders i like these inner fenders just because i am running the falcons um series three and they look really nice with these inner fenders they're one of the few fenders that are manufactured out there that will fit your falcons so i like those and in the back i am actually running a different type of fender same by nemesis industries but these are the notorious dovetail and they look really nice as well um, i just really like the dovetail uh, finish on that that looks really nice and uh, they do offer a little bit more protection. I didn't like the crawler version of them, so I didn't go for that. All right, and then now let's talk about the uh, rock sliders. So I am running the Terraflex aluminum rock sliders. Um, I haven't really used these too much. I haven't bent them or put any dents on them or scratched them or anything like that. They're more of a step than anything else, but I just thought that they looked really good with these um, fenders, so here they are all right now let's talk about the rear bumper this is by vks as well and this is a shorty bumper i really like this bumper it looks really nice um again this is a cut frame so it tucks in really nicely up against the frame of the jeep so i'm pretty happy with it for tire carrier to carry this massive 40 inch tire i am running the terraflex hd hinge tire carrier and uh, so it is the hinge replacement and then uh, you can't see it but there is a uh, tire carrier there um, and it just really handles handles this 40 really nicely um, no problem at all with carrying this 40 back there there's no rattle and it holds up that uh, tailgate very well so i'm pretty happy with it all right up here we are running the pioneer rack platform by rhino rack I'm pretty happy with that. Um, it comes with the backbone system, which let's see if we can show you here. So that's the backbone support backbone system. It's on both sides and that just offers a little bit more support for throwing a big heavy uh, rooftop tent on top. That's, that's normally what we do, what we need it for. 
Also, these lights are just cheap Amazon lights that I threw up there just because we needed some extra lights on the trail. But this is a very low profile roof rack and I'm super, super happy. They're just D slats. Super, super happy with it and I love the look of them. So I've had that for a couple years now. All right, let's talk about wheels, tires, and suspension. The most asked question I get from you guys. So this is a uh, 40 inch tire, 40 by 13 and a half R17. And these are the Discovery STT Pro Coopers. These tires are massive. They're very heavy and uh, they're, they perform absolutely great on the trail. There's a little bit of uh, road noise, but then again, you know, um, the Jeep itself is a very loud car anyway, so. And these are the 17 inch KMC Machete wheels. That's a B-lock there. And it is in a five by five pattern. Really nice tires. I am running all five of them with a spare. All right, now let's talk about suspension. All right, so for suspension, we are doing the three and a half inch lift by Terraflex and coupled with the Falcon 3 Series uh, piggyback adjustable shocks. I love these shocks. You can just turn your knob and you are on soft mode and then turn the knob again and you are on um, stiff mode when you're on the road performs very well i am running the steering stabilizer with it too same adjustable looks very good all right and back here you can see that i am running also the falcon adjustable shocks okay cool what else do we have here all right let's talk about what i have done to these axles in order to run these 40s all right, so let's talk about what I have done to these axles. They are still stock axle housings, but inside the axle, it's been completely rebuilt, completely reinforced. So let's talk about that. So inside these uh, Dana 44 axle housings, we are running 513 uh, gears, and I have replaced the axle shafts and I have reinforced and sleeved those. So we have the Yukon 513 gears in there. And then back here we have the 10 factory chromoly uh, axle shafts. And um, I am running some spacers to run these 40s in here so we don't get any rub. Those are two and a half inch spacers, front and rear. And then back here we have a Yukon uh, diff cover and that looks really nice it gives us a little bit more strength as well uh, in case we hit a rock with that all right now let's go to the front okay now let's talk about what's going on here in the front again i've already told you guys that i am running the uh, falcon nexus 2 uh, front steer and stabilizer and that is an adjustable stabilizer firm and soft you can just turn the knob and soft firm all right and then we are also running the um, HD Terraflex um, steering system in here. I went ahead and replaced that when uh, we got the 37s that we had on this Jeep before, prior to the uh, 40s. So that's worked pretty well, no death wobble at all. And I think that has a lot to do with uh, our steering stabilizers. Not that we use that um, to prevent death wobble, but it does handle the 40s very well with it. Um, all right, what else do we have here? Same thing with the front axles. Those are geared to 513s gears. And then we have the Yukon diff cover on there just to give it some extra protection. All right, inside these axles, we have the RCV chromoly axle shafts. And uh, we're also running the Reed Racing knuckles in here. And those look really, really good right next to each other. Two different oranges but that looks really nice when you see that orange under there same thing on this side and then we got some quick disconnects in here because i was having a little bit of trouble with my sway bar my um uh automatic sway bar disconnect so i went ahead and got those meanwhile 
Um, that is now working and it's functionally, uh, it's functioning just fine. And uh, I think there was just a little bit of water in here. So I had to, uh, had to take a couple screws out and then let it dry for a couple of days and it works just fine now. So I'm pretty happy with that. So, but those are by JKS, quick disconnects. Really love them. They're pretty nice and sturdy. All right, cool. Two and a half inch spacers again. Let's get up. Talk about, um, oh yeah, let's talk about these. So when I first got this Jeep, I had the uh, stock uh, hood latches and I went ahead and replaced those just because they were fading out and one of them actually broke loose because of weathering. But uh, anyway, so I got these from Rugged Rich. They're really nice and sturdy. I like them, they look nice and aggressive. Same thing on this side. Cool, let's move on to the next thing. All right, so let's talk about what's inside the Jeep. Uh, not a whole lot has been done to the inside other than a few things here and there that are very functional and some others just for for the fun of it. Uh, but <clears throat> one of the first mods that I ever did to this Jeep is I got this uh, Vector Off-Road uh, rail system here. And it's a really nice rail. It's, uh, I think it's, uh, it's either aluminum or steel. I can't remember what it is, uh, but it's got this uh, nice texture on it. And um, before 67 Designs really came out with, you know, more uh, different options for mounting a phone, phone holder in here, uh, this was really the only option you could get um, to be able to have a phone mount in here. And uh, this 67 Designs, phone mount that i've had for several years now i'm pretty happy with them uh they're pretty sturdy they work very well and they hold the phone and you know you can go on the trail and it won't fall off uh the only problem i've had with 67 designs is the fact that um these phone mounts they come with a uh um with uh, let's see if I can, with rubber paddings on the sides and those will fall off eventually I don't know what needs to be done, but that needs to be fixed because once those are gone, your phone, if you don't have a rubber case on them, your phone will fall off no matter what, um, especially if you're on the trail. So that's one thing that maybe 67 Design still needs to fix. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with their phone holders, uh, phone mounts, and they, they look great. They look very nice and aggressive. Um, and I like that about uh, 67 Designs. All right, so I always get questions about the steering wheel. Um, so this is obviously not the, the original steering wheel that came with the Jeep. I replaced the steering wheel myself. This is something that I got off of eBay. Um, it was about $250 at the time. I think I checked last night and it was running for $350 now, $360. So I'll, I'll leave a link down below. This is not sponsored or anything. This is just me sharing my knowledge with you guys. I know some of you guys liked it. It looks pretty cool, sporty. Um, I love the red, the red stripe. And then I do like the red stitching on it. Um, and the carbon fiber. That looks really, really nice. And these were actually just inserts that I got separately. Um, and I can't remember where I got these from. But if I can find it, I'll list it down below. And I've been pretty happy with this steering wheel. You know, the only complaint I have is that when it gets really, really hot outside and it can't here in Colorado, um, this top part gets really, really hot. So, you know, but for the most part, my hand is always on, on the side here. So I don't have to worry too much about it. Other than that, it's a really cool looking steering wheel. I get a lot of compliments, especially when I take it to get an oil change or, uh, I, you know, somebody has to drive the Jeep for whatever reason. I always get a lot of compliments on it. So pretty happy with it. Uh, radio still stock, you know, I got a couple of stickers on there. Other than that, it's all pretty stock in here. You know, again, 67, the science phone mount. I got the, um, I got a uh, GoPro mount here and then another mount and that's really all uh, there is to it. Nothing special. Um, I haven't really done any upgrades to the engine either. That's still pretty stock. Jeep did a pretty good job with these Jeeps. I think that those engines um, have been pretty reliable and the TJs. 
uh, the XJs, and now with the you know the JKs, and even um, some of the newer JLs too, they're proven to be very reliable. So I haven't done anything to the uh, engine. We're gonna keep it stock for now. Okay, so now that you guys have seen everything that we have done to this Jeep up until this point, let's talk about some of the future plans that I have for this Jeep and some of the things that are going to be required in order to continue to run those 40s and some of the things that are going to come very handy if we want to do some harder trails. So one of the things that has been in the back of my mind for a few months now, and as a matter of fact, I just talked to Chris from uh, the Edge uh, Automotive here in Denver. He is the one that does all the work on this Jeep. He's the one that I trust with this Jeep and uh, hopefully one day we'll get to introduce him here on the channel but one of the things that we just talked about is doing a full hydraulic uh, steering assist kit on this uh, by PSC and that's something that I've been always uh, that I've always wanted to do on this Jeep and I think that now that we're running the 40s I can see how I'm going to need that I think that the Falcon uh, steering stabilizer is doing just fine. I don't get any uh, wobble or any, you know, but I, I, but I can use a little bit more help. And I think I would like it to feel more uh, sturdy. However, I think that this uh, PSE system will really help um, the overall handling of these 40s. Another thing that I've thought about doing, and I know that that's uh, going to come in handy if we want to do some of these harder trails, is I would like a little bit more flexibility um, when it comes to rock crawling. And I thought about doing a long arm kit that would really help with the flexing of the Jeep and uh, just getting up on those rocks and being able to get all the... Um, articulation that we need I, the jeep does pretty well right now especially with the sway bar disconnected uh, but i really would like to get a little bit more flex out of that so i don't know what i'm gonna do yet uh what brand or anything like that but um stay tuned that's gonna be coming up as well in the next few months and then of course i would like to do a full skit underneath so that that way everything is protected under the Jeep. And uh, right now we have a little bit, you know, we just have the regular skid plates that come on the Rubicon from, from factory. And then the final thing, I think this will be a long-term goal is to go full uh, coilovers um, front and rear. I think that would be a really cool look on this Jeep. And uh, again, that would give me a little bit uh, flexibility on this Jeep. And uh, oh yeah, we can't forget about it. And we talked about this when I was in Moab, but the biggest thing is I would really like to run some Dana 60s um, front and rear and reinforce 538s and you know, the whole nine yards just because that would give me a little bit more peace of mind and it would really accommodate this 40s a little bit better. But that's down the road, you know, I didn't think that I needed to do that right now. Um, again, that is a big expense and I am not sponsored at all by anyone and so i have to pay everything out of pocket and when you do something uh you know big like that it's it's a huge expense so we're not ready for that yet i think the dana 44s are doing just fine um we reinforced the crap out of those and you know we're just waiting to see uh if we can continue to use those or not right uh, unfortunately you won't ever know until they break but um you know, as of right now, they're doing just fine. I think they're very strong uh, axles. So we're going to continue to use those. And if anything changes, I'll be sure to let you guys know. But that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I am so happy that so many of you guys have subscribed to our channel. We're going to continue to do this. And we're going to continue to bring you more and more content as the year goes by. We have another project down the road. We have that trailer that we're working on, that overland camping trailer. That's going to be a whole uh, series on its own. So stay tuned and make sure you like this video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed. And check out some of our other videos. Uh, check out our MOA playlist. That was a lot of fun. And if you're new to our channel, please don't forget to subscribe. We would love to have you as part of the family. Until next time, thank you so much. Keep on jeeping. All right, so that just about completes the walk around of this 2015 Jeep Rubicon. Again, we are running 40 inch tires on this and I haven't had a lot of problems with it. Actually, no problems at all. We took it all the way to Moab, brought it all the way back to Colorado and we're so happy with it. 
We love the way it looks. Get a lot of compliments on it. And I know you guys are loving this Jeep. So stay tuned. Next week, we're going to do a walk around of my wife's 2021 20, Jeep Rubicon over there. Two door. That's running 37s. And that's about all I'm going to tell you. I'm going to do a walk around of it. But that is going to complete this video.